In this video, I'll share with you five tips when you are shooting with your iPhone to bring your videos to the next level. Hey, what's up guys? Julian from smartphonefilmmakingpro.com here, the ultimate online course about smartphone filmmaking. And today I have a few tips, especially for you iPhone users out there that wanna just step up their smartphone video quality to the next level. All those five tips that I have for you are easy to follow and basically anyone can do them. So I would say without any further ado, let's hop into the first tip. And the first tip that I have for you is to choose the correct frame rate. You know, when you are in your stock camera app at the top right you can just tap on it and then you can see in which frame rate you are currently in you can pick between 24 25 30 60 or even 120 or 240 frames per second and it does make a difference which frame rate you are using and it absolutely depends there is no right frame rate that you can use for any scenario for example if you're shooting a person talking then i would absolutely use 24 frames per second because this will give you the most cinematic looking image and in case you're filming some b-roll maybe you know the person in your a-roll is talking about something and you want to actually you know shoot some b-roll that you can use you know to make the video more interesting then i would shoot those b-roll shots at 60 frames per second because then you have the option later on in the post-production to slow your footage down and you know to overall just have a more professional looking video overall tip number two is to lock your focus and your exposure a surprising high amount of people do not know that even on iphones and even in the stock camera app you are able to lock your focus and your exposure and you know doing this will have the advantage that your focus and your exposure is not changing whilst you are recording and this overall makes your videos just look more professional because if you're watching you know movies in the cinema or you know just professional video overall you never see changing exposure you know sometimes you see a focus pull and change of focus this does happen but you know when you are shooting with phones basically the phone is constantly searching for the correct exposure and the correct focus point. So there is constantly a change in the image. And this overall just makes it, you know, you, it makes it more obvious that you shot this on a smartphone. But if you just press on your screen for a longer time, you can actually see that it says, okay, focus and exposure is locked. And then if you slide with your finger up and down, you can actually, you know, change your exposure. You can make your image brighter and you can also make it darker. And this is just a super easy hack that any one of you should know and take advantage of it. Tip number three that I have for you is to activate the grid. If you go into your settings, you search for a camera, you can activate the grid. And this is basically, you know, just a grid over your screen. And this is super helpful for framing your shots. I won't go into all the details on how you frame shots, you know, if you're interested in that. And if you want to learn more about smartphone filmmaking, you can check out Smartphone Filmmaking Pro. There I cover all all of this in far greater detail but overall make sure to have the grid activated this is so helpful in basically all shooting scenarios because this just this is just a guideline for you and this just makes shooting way easier for you guys and tip number four is for all of you that have an iphone 12 and it doesn't matter if it is the iphone 12 pro the 12 mini or whatever all of them have this option and that is to activate the hdr mode i got a ton of questions from you guys asking me if it actually makes sense to activate the 10-bit hdr mode because you know it just looks weird if you open up the videos on a computer or on a television or if you upload them to youtube and yes the HDR image does look weird and it does look overexposed in some areas if you just upload the video as it is to YouTube for example or if you watch it on a television but if you process your images if you you know if you load them into an editor you can create some absolutely amazing and stunning looking videos and you should definitely take advantage of the possibilities that our phones give you so definitely use it and again if you want to learn how you can get the best out of your phone we do have this in our online course and tip number five is to use all the different lenses that you get with your smartphone and basically it doesn't matter on which exact phone that you have and it doesn't matter if it has an ultra wide or a telephoto or both basically what i want to say with this tip is use all the different lenses that you have to get just varieties of your shots it doesn't matter what exact video you're making if you're always using the same lens and if you're always using the same perspective 
it just gets boring very quickly for the viewer. It might be a good interesting story and that is still the most important part, but it just gets boring visually. So for example, if you do have an ultra wide angle lens, just use this, you know, to establish a location, for example. And if you're having a standard lens, use this for your interview. And if you have a telephoto lens, you know, use this for some detail shots and so on. Just mix it up and make it more interesting for your viewers. And before we're going to end this video, I do have a little bonus tip for you guys and that is to stabilize your footage. You know, all of the tips above are very useful and you should follow them, of course. But another thing that is just very important is to have some smooth footage. You know, the in-body image stabilization of these iPhones is actually amazing and you can get away without a gimbal in most scenarios but you know having something like this will just bring your videos to the next level but yeah this is basically it for today if you guys have any further questions if you would like to see anything specific make sure to write it down in the comments and yeah that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and i'll talk to you guys in the next one